Obama said, if Congress isn't going to listen to me, if I can't get these things through, I'll use executive orders. I'll just declare it to be so. This is dictatorial power, by the way. And Rahm Emanuel made it very clear that this is what they're going to do. That they don't need Congress. It says so right here. They don't need Congress. It says, we're just going to make this happen. And uh, Obama was talking about how he told Congress uh, just recently, threatened Congress, that he would dismiss them if they didn't do certain things. But he said, no, he's just going to go ahead with, and they got this big string of executive orders, and he's going to do it. They're killing the economy. Now over in Europe, we've all heard of executive orders. Now he says, I'm going to start using them. Just watch this come forth. Rahm Emanuel's real proud of it. He says, we don't need, we don't need to worry about Congress. We have executive orders. We're going to start re reviewing them and looking them over and determine which ones we're going to put into force right now. Watch the dictatorship rise. And there will be a battle. As I said, the country of Greece, the economy has failed. And now it tells us collapse of the euro is inevitable. Bailing out the Greek economy is futile, says French banking chief. Greece is flat, broke, they're in debt, they're way over their head. Their, their euro is worthless. That sends ripple effects through the rest of the euros all over the European Union. It looks, and I looked at the, the euro has dropped drastically in value. They're killing that. What happens when our dollar is killed with the kind of debt that we have that can never be repaid? It's now impossible to do it. Logistically, mathematically impossible to do it. If you took every penny from everybody in this country, all their buildings, all their wealth, everything, all their jewels, their gold, silver, we wouldn't have enough to pay it. We're that far gone. Same thing happened in other places. North Korea is done for. Greece is uh, absolutely broke. The European Union is going broke. And what they're going to have to do of necessity is bring forth a new money system and it's going to have to be electronic. There is your mark of the beast. It's upon us. Jesus said watch. If he said watch, there must be something we have to watch for. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. I'm excited, aren't you? Amen. I mean, it tells me he's coming again. Amen. Quickly. So we're going to bring this to a close and reach out to the Lord. This is so shocking. With much of his legislative agenda stalled in Congress, President Obama and his team are preparing an array of actions using his executive power to advance energy, environmental, fiscal, and other domestic policy priorities. Mr. Obama has not given up hope of progress on Capitol Hill, AIDS said and has scheduled a session with Republican leaders on health care later this month. But in the aftermath of special election in Massachusetts that cost Democrats unilateral control of the Senate, see, he lost control, didn't he? All right? The White House is getting ready to act on its own in the face of partisan gridlock heading into the midterm campaign. We are reviewing a list of presidential executive orders and directives to get the job done across a front of issues, said Rahm Emanuel, the White House Chief of Staff. And it goes on and on explaining how he's going to take over as dictator. There will be blood in the streets. There will be war. Obama has called for the reinforcement of the whole Northern Command of the Army in the event of an American Civil War. I didn't hear that from over here. It's not in our press. I got that from Europe and Australia. They know about it. Jesus said, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. These are troublous times. We need the Savior. I urge you to believe God for the promise of the Father. It's happening. It, it's going to all come down shortly. There's still time, just not much of it. 
Shall we pray together as Duane gets ready to come up here? Let's call upon the Lord. Oh, Father in heaven, we need thy help because the prophecies that thou hast given are coming to pass, every one of them. And we know the time is short and the days are evil. Help us now to have great faith in thee. We all need to be filled with the Holy Ghost and to be watching and praying as thou hast instructed us in thy final instructions. Help us now to be obedient, Lord, and to be ready for thy coming is at hand. Let Satan be driven out. Let thy name be glorified. And in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. 